Hi, welcome. My name is Helena and I'm the creator behind Fab and Wear. Today I'm here with a finished object. Ta da! I have finished my Delacour cardigan, which I showed you as a work in progress in the last video that I made, and I am so, so pleased with this. Let's just dive straight in to all the specifics. So this is one of my patterns from my Hallows collection, which I published, must have been autumn 2019, yes. One of four patterns and the Delacour cardigan is one of the three cardigans in the collection. And then there's the <laughs> there is also a jumper, which is the Rowena jumper. Now this pattern is knit bottom up back and forth. So there is uh, as much purling as knitting involved. Um, I will say though, I don't mind purling. And I think that's because I started knitting cardigans way back when, back and forth. And so it just takes practice and it feels just as easy now for me as knitting pure uh, uh, knit stitches and stockinette. So yeah, just practice getting used to it. And I realised there are different ways of purling. I knit the uh, Scandinavian way of purling, which I'm not sure if that's what it's called. That's how I learnt and it's really very, very simple. So it's great if you don't mind purling, uh, but per perhaps also if you feel like you need some practice and need to sort of get over that uh, fear of purling uh, for long consecutive rows at a time. So it's knit back and forth and then you cast off once you reach the ribbing and have done that for X amount of rounds and then you continue knitting upwards having put on the sleeves and then at the very end you pick up the button band here and along the neckline. The sleeves have a fitted cuff and then they balloon out into a flattering and feminine bishop sleeve that I am very very fond of. And I have to say, this is knit in fabric knit by hand dyed yarn, my hand dyed yarn in my base Usk, which is a Norwegian base from the spinnery Hillesvog. It's a very to the woolly yarn. And I did not expect it to drape so beautifully. This has such an amazing drape. And I just didn't, I expected it to work because if not I wouldn't have done it, but not like this. I am so pleased and would highly recommend this yarn for drapey projects from now on. I, I just wouldn't have expected it to be that good at draping. And so I'm so pleased with how voluminous and billowy these and um, just luxurious these sleeves now feel and it still contains that warm traditional look of more to the Norwegian yarn so the best of both worlds really it is a bit uh, <laughs> it's wrong it's not a good word but harsher in texture than a merino would be, of course. And so I assume not everyone can wear it straight on their skin. I am, I am just wearing a bra underneath this. Um, but I am my most sensitive uh, on my neck and the front of my chest. But I can wear my Minerva cardigan, which is knit in the same yarn, and that goes up there without having anything highly underneath. So it's just, we differ, and to a certain degree, there is also some getting used to it. Um, so yeah, I, I lucked out a bit there. I've gotten used to it. And we're, I'm now wearing it straight on my skin, but this, obviously you don't have to, you could easily wear something underneath. And this is just, I'm so pleased with it. <laughs> I can't stress it enough. The colorway is flat. And I didn't even think <laughs> when I picked it uh, how appropriate picking the colourway flare was for the Delacour cardigan. <laughs> 
The buttons I opted for were the ones indeed that I did show you last time. Let me come closer so you can see properly. I think they turned out really, really lovely on this cardigan because the this cream has quite a bit of both brown and blush in it. And so with the slightly oxidized darker gold, I think it just looks really, really nice and vintagey, <laughs> which is always something I enjoy. As this is a square neckline cardigan, you could also dress it up by popping on some dress clips. These are my vintage 1940s dress clips. I have another pair as well. And they were very common in the 1930s and 40s to decorate your dresses. You can clip them on and off. And they just take your cardigan, your jumper, your jacket, your blouse, whatever it is you are using them on, and they turn them from a more casual garment into something a bit more dressed up. If you just type in dress clips on Etsy, you will find so many beautiful options. Let me show you what these look like close up. So as you can see, these are not new. This one's missing two rhinestones and that one's missing one. But that's part of the charm, I think, with very wearing original vintage. I have spoken of my love of square neck lines many a time, but I really do feel they are the most flattering neckline for absolutely everyone. Let me share some of the more technical information. So the pattern calls for three and a half and four millimeter needles uh, as a recommendation for meeting your gauge. However, I did not with this yarn, I do not meet gauge on that. So I have to go down to a three and a half and a three millimeter needle to make that happen. So do bear in mind that like, regardless of what you're knitting, just bear this in mind. Check your gauge as you go. I'm really bad at swatching, um, but I try to always check my gauge as I'm knitting so that I can adjust any gauge mishaps as I go if I need to. So do bear that in mind with us which I highly recommend for both this cardigan, the forest spray jacket, the Minerva cardigan, the Queenie cardigan, juniper jacket, just because of the way it drapes so beautifully now and also holds the structure of the patterns with the puff shoulders so well. Um, just do beware that your gauge might differ because this yarn is t just a tiny bit thicker than the yarn that I originally designed them in, which was Pickles Merino Tweed and Pickles Pure Wool. I am just quickly going to show you where I am on the project, my second project that I showed you last time, which is my antiquity blouse in Athena and Mohair Silk Pearly Grey Ghost, which is my hand dyed yarn. And I am come hither. I have very little left of second sleeve and then I have the mohair silk collar left to do and that's it this is all done so close I would love to finish this today or tomorrow we'll see how much stuff needs to do but now I would like to show you some outfit ideas
do love putting together outfits and creating different looks with the same base garments. So try something like this at home, put together your own outfits using one knit garment that you have. And let me know below in the comments what your favourite was. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.